Greetings to you. Uh, yes, we are the Draconian Collective. Uh, yes, you could say the suppressors of the universe. Uh, we are more of a neutral group, so I'll make this a little bit easier. Uh, we sphere connection, but there are some reptilians cannot be channeled. There's like so difficult. Their energy is so negative. Um, it's almost like you know channeling a possess, you know a possessed being basically. Some are, and there's some are to like your uh, your your gangs, your drug lords. Those have lost their control, lost their sense of self. So the, the reptilian energies are very similar to human. Uh, you can see that why humans have reptilian DNA to begin with. A lot of it has to do with survival too. To handle all, all of this, you know, negativity here. Of course, it also brings the, the negativity through you, but also helps you handle it at the same time. So it's because your world was basically opened up to experience a great many things at once, as you can see. Uh, not everybody is experiencing a heavy load, but quite a few people are, and they can barely handle this reality. Um, that's why people go to the beach and, or go to lakes to swim to clear out your energies. If you all lived in the water, you'd probably be able to handle this a little bit better. Of course, that's not the case. Of course, your world is, you know, mostly water, but not everybody can live by the water. That's why people go for a swim to clear out their vibrations. Because it's, there are beings here that just, there are allowed to, you know, cause chaos here. <laughs> they just gotten a, until humans release their teachings, when humans no longer want that, then things will change. But right now, um, it's going to stay that way until humans are because human humanity is always pulling in the lessons from other universes, other dimensions. Of course, you don't see it here in the physical, but as is us as draconian beings. So we're here to help humanity, but also there are those that are here to, you know, to stop humanity, you could say. <laughs> so, uh, so you have a both, you know, a light and a dark that's working. At, at the same time so but you now at least you know what it feels like to be on a reptilian planet <laughs> uh there are reptilian worlds with no sun it's just darkness i mean you might see a moon but that's about it <laughs> now how we get our light is like the central sun we don't even under I me mean, like a world that's far away from the sun let's put it that way so you still get some Radiation from the sun, but usually there, there are worlds with just no sunlight at all. Well, kind of like swamp planets. <laughs> so, uh, but here, uh, if you have questions, please. Hello, greetings, South of Draconians. Greetings to you. Thank you for coming in. Um, thank, but uh, I let Michael go, and I just wanted to, you know, greet you guys and uh kind of get everything rolling but um yeah michael go ahead i'll worry up here go again like well uh, I've been i'm gonna... talking to a um go ahead bobby i'll wait <laughs> <laughs> no man, I, mean, I have no questions yet, but I was just gonna follow up on their comment, but that's for later. But yeah, go ahead. I talked to that has a relationship with reptilians, and I thought about making a uh, video with her. I uh, uh, hope you know who I'm talking about. She's um, on the webinar through the week. And and we were going to cut, we were going to like try to put out some information that not all reptilians are bad because they do get a bad rap. So what do you think? Do you think that's a good idea to to do? Yes, it's yeah. It's just that some people are still afraid of the whole reptilian uh, connection. But yes, it's. I mean, there's a light, you know, there's a light and a dark to everything. And, but yeah, reptilians are the extreme. 
compared to most beings. And and she was tell, and she was telling me that you can call on them, and but if you don't have anything for them to do, like if you needed protection or something like that, but if you just call them for curious reasons, um, is that true or is that just? Uh, Oh, just I mean, just know what you're what getting yourself that, into. If you call on them, they might just hang around you forever and cause you difficulties too, without even trying. They're similar. To, reptilians are similar to like mantis. Mantis can cause trouble when they're not trying to cause trouble. Their energy, you know. I don't know if you want to have reptilian energy around you all the time. <laughs> Because they're known to hang around. Once you call them around, usually they stick around. They're like, hey, this person said that can come by. And then they stay there. <laughs> so Yeah, then I might pass on that then. Yeah. Well, well, let me ask you one more question. I'll let somebody else ask. Uh, I got some more tech type today. Mm-hmm. And I was wanting to know if it's like the, uh, like, is it? From the Palladians, it feels that way. Yes, it's it's not as strong as it could be, but that it's still strong though. It's you know you could say from our perspective, there are planets where it's a lot more powerful. They're not selling the strong stuff here, but you have what you have is good though. Yeah, um, I was I had a channeling with. Uh, my girlfriend Amanda and she was telling me about the Moldavite that they actually use is so powerful and how there's so many other different colors on this planet that hasn't been discovered and I was asking her to give me a piece but of course you know she's from another dimension mm-hmm. but um, I thought that was cool but um, yeah there's a red Moldavite I don't believe it's been found here and your... she was telling me hello, and there was a blue, and there's a purple yeah. that doesn't exist in this uh, mm-hmm. dimension. Yeah, but, um, yeah, it's red Moldavite that's very powerful, maybe too powerful for this planet, mm-hmm. but it is here somewhere. Now, is it is it true that if a human has a lot of reptilian <laughs> DNA, it does the polar opposite? It won't. It will lower their vibration, and it... if you got Palladian in you, it will raise your vibration. Yeah, I mean, with the Moldavite, yeah, yeah. It depends on the person, but yes. Yeah, because okay. reptilian DNA is already potent. It's already kind of toxic. It all depends because rept- people that have a lot of reptilian are known to get into quarrels, get into drama. You know, their testosterone is pretty up you know, up there, you know, sometimes they want to get in fights with the people. Everybody's different. Or get in arguments with people because they get a high off of it. They don't know why. <laughs> That's <Huh>. reptilian. <laughs> Not all reptilians are like that. Quite a few more, though. <laughs> okay. I'll let somebody else have a right. go. Yeah. Blessings. Blessings. No, like Mike Tyson's a good example of a reptilian, where you just basically beat your brain into a into a raisin. <laughs> yeah, there's that's no very, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, you know, yeah, it's, it's just one one gear. Definitely. Yeah, that's very yeah. reptilian. That's 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 a lot of re- that's not all reptilians, but that's quite a few of them. They just beat themselves up so much because they get in fights when they're young. And they, they have all that energy, and they can win. I mean, because they can win. I mean, they're like cats where they have a lot of power. It just yeah. reptilians want to fight. <laughs> Even yeah, I kind of feel that in me. And, like, um, I've always been kind of like the runts, but I was always the youngest for that reason. Mm-hmm. And I had kids picking on me. But, um, you know, I, I never really had a bully problem for too long, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just wondering uh, how you said earlier um, – uh, yeah. Oh, I actually, actually. So, um, I'm gonna leave it to Haria. I have to circle back to that. So, thank you. Sure. Actually, it's Osep next. Yeah. Greetings, uh, Draconians. Greetings. Thank you for coming in. 
Uh, yeah, reptilians. I had interactions with the reptilians. My ex was a, was a reptilian, and he was violent, and it was impossible. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, what to do? Yeah, um, it was very normal. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I was uh, going to ask you if uh, I've been having interaction with draconians in the astral and in the past. Uh, what is my connection to to you? Oh, those are those are old boyfriends. Mm-hmm. Oh, from the past or past. In this in this uh, incarnation? Yeah, the past. Sometimes you just throw away their phone number; they still find a way to catch you, find you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So you can just keep putting your energy out there to get rid of them. Uh, they're yeah. kind of like uh, insects. <laughs> They don't know yeah. how to give up. Like bugs, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty bad. So, um, yeah, it's because you probably had unfinished business with them. You don't want anything to do with them, but they come around anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's true. They still do. <laughs> but I'm, There's, like, uh, trying to get rid of them. <laughs> there is, like, a reptilian queen lifetime you've had in your past. And they remember that. So some of them are coming to you, they still see you as that. I believe it was an Orion. You're like a, a Naga, a, a, a snake. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That's very interesting. That was one of your early, early incarnations when you're looking into your darkness and you just became a queen just like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I have passed uh, lifetimes uh, as a princess, but I didn't mm. know that I had some as a queen too. <laughs> but we were talking about reptilians, so that's why that showed up. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's well, think of like a, a planet that just doesn't have a lot going on. It's like, okay, I'll just take over this place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's. So, okay, she's but, boss now. Oh, we well, guess you better do what she says, and just like that. <laughs> oh my god! We well, got that out of your system, so now here you are. <laughs> so now they're they're after me. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. Once you do something like that, they don't seem to go away. But also, like celebrities, you know, reptilian beings are known to chase them forever. So, hey, Britney Spears. And you, like, weren't Britney Spears for, like, a thousand years ago. And they're still coming after you. <laughs> oh, my God. These so are, like, with no life. <laughs> it's difficult for me to know if uh, someone is connecting with me because they really want a connection with me. Or is it because they just want to come and, you know, have my energy or just to contact with me or yeah be in my field you know so it's kind of uh com- very confusing for me to really uh, it's all the above yeah it's everything yeah. it's yeah it's, some of them are stalker beings in astral that's very normal okay. so yeah but well, you can put your energy out to clear them out but sometimes these beings just never go away <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, do you have any uh, anything information? I have a friend of mine. He's not Vietnamese. I have been for a friend in many years, and uh, his name is Juan. And he uh, he 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 started to call me a princess many years ago, and I was laughing mm-hmm. at him. I said like, "No, I'm not a princess." I, I I joked with him. I said to him, "I'm a queen," you know. He said, "No, no, no. You are a princess." <laughs> and then when I told him that I have. Uh, got information that I had been princess in the past. He was like, "Well, yeah, I knew that." <laughs> yeah. What is what have uh, what connection have me and him had in the past? Um, I believe that yeah, it is connected to like that reptilian lifetime as a queen. But you've had the queen lifetimes aren't making themselves clear. But yeah, the princess lifetimes definitely knew. Those are in more Palladian worlds. Yeah, please. And the amphibian, I think you also have some amphibian energies. Yeah, yes. And he, I mean, he had been Anunnaki, and he might have saw you as a queen, but I don't believe you were a queen. If you were, I'm not seeing it. 
Yeah, no, he called me a princess. No, oh, princess, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, princess uh, and an Aki, yes. So, yeah, um, that's one of your connections, too. Also. Ah, an Anaki, okay. So, he was kind of friend, or was it something else? Son, or? Uh, just friends, yeah. Okay, friends. Because he, he called me mom. He's like, I, I don't know if he was joking or he was like. <laughs> um, I think he sees that mother suck. The mother ah. suck. I think he's seeing. Ah, okay. Okay, I'll leave it to someone else. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'll give you an insight to some of these stalker or reptilians. So, so yeah. you might know, you might have known them for like a thousand years ago or something. But when you incarnate, they might incarnate with you too. And then you say, well, I know you from somewhere. And you have a relationship yeah. with them. And then they're real toxic. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. That happens here a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it happens to me. Every, yeah. Yeah. Every second day or, yeah. yeah. They contact me and, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, people contact. I think that's a lot of the Azure and Anaki connections. They're just... A lot of beings in you as a kind of Naki, so they're attracted to your energy. Okay. That's what, that's what I see there. Yeah, I've been trying to clear out uh, those energies, and I'm just, like, taking my own space and trying to be alone, but they're, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, your energy seems like they're going to find it no matter what. But, yeah, do what you can. Yeah, I will. Okay. Thank you very much. Blessings. Blessings. Yeah. Blessings, Draconian. Greetings. Greetings. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. How are you today? Doing well. Oh, great. Well, I um I wanted to find out my connection with a grocery store manager. Um, whenever I go to the grocery store, they're always like um, trying to be friendly and asking, you know, like trying to start conversation with me. And I'm just trying to figure out what my connection is with them. Uh, I believe you know them as Palladian incarnations. They've also been uh, bug people. They've been bugs. Oh. <laughs> and they've known you as bugs. They think they kind of swarm around you like bugs, is what I see. <laughs> but you're talking to a reptilian, so that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I mean, is it? I don't think you're like looking for them to talk to you, but. But yeah, yeah they are um, played. I mean, they have a good sense of energy, from what I can see. Okay. Overall. So they just they just remember you. That's all. Say, so, oh. hey, how's it going? So you know, you've been in like a you've been in, you've been on Alice in Wonderland type of worlds too. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, you what? have like a talking frog and a talking cat talking to our tree or whatever. So that's where yeah. they they come from too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, I've had a cat talk to me in real life. So, well, whichever yeah. life it was, um, yeah. I was. It, it was a black cat that that talked to me, and I was just like, "Did this really happen?" So that's funny that you said that. It happened years ago too. Wow. Yeah, that was more like a person and a cat. I mean, that's a cat, but it's like a human soul. Oh, okay. All right. Well then, I'll have to reflect on that one. Um, and when you mentioned like the insects, um, mm -hmm. earwigs, earwigs are, they seem to want to follow me and there's just, ugh. um, what is their connection with me? Is it the same with that grocery store manager? No, they're just attracted to your blood. <gasps> they just want to eat you. That's all. Oh no. Is that, are you serious? Mm. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to have yeah. to figure out how to get... get if you get, kill bugs, that's okay. You're not going to go to the underworld or anything. It's all right. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> You're not going to go burn the eternity or anything like that. You know, it's, <laughs> a lot of bugs have been programmed to go after people, so just don't worry about it. Oh, okay. All right. So bugs are, bugs are within the limits. <laughs> you can bug them out. Yeah, you can do... Yeah, bug genocide. <laughs> bug aside. Okay. Bug aside. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Because yeah. and... technically it's like an attack. So it's like you're attacking back. Look at it okay. that way. 
Yeah, I, I've seen a, a couple like outside and such and, you know, I don't want them in. So I have to admit, I have stepped on a couple. So That's okay. <laughs> do what you got to do. No, they'll okay. take over the place. They literally would. Let you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So I need to protect my perimeter. Again. Yeah, bug, it, bug out. Get bug out. Bug out and bug them out. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll bug out. And, yeah. All um, right. I went to a um, an antique store last week, and um, in one of the displays, this beautiful um, ring caught my attention. It's a dragon ring. So, of course, I had to get it. Why not? Um, and ever since I've been putting this on and walking into places, people have actually been respecting me. So I was wondering, uh, like, what type of uh, relationship or that i have with this uh dragon that's a royalty so (gasps) you're connecting to yeah your yeah you say your species you can say i mean dragons are a tier above reptilian you know the higher reptilian meaning respect but you know not everybody respects dragons but okay you know usually they behave themselves normally (laughs) but (laughs) But yeah, yours is a royalty race, so just you know, you're attracting people, but you know, just they see the good in you, so you're, you're connecting to more of who you are, you can say a part of you, Aww. and so they just see that energy Aww. of uh, peace, you can say. Yeah. Oh, well, thank yeah. you. I've been trying to get more peace within me. Yeah. Oh, you know, the yeah. dragon, you can embrace more of that, okay. uh, other dragon mot- modalities, and all that. Yeah. Oh, it just it connects you to your power it's just i mean you've been a peaceful dragon in your past doing right some dragons misuse their power but that that always happens but okay. you know you're a dragon that would bring order out of chaos and just be like protecting villages things like that okay don't look at it that way okay so you, that... you you use your power for good let's put it that way wow that's amazing because maybe like six months ago, the very words order out of chaos came yeah. to me and I've just been searching for like what it meant to me and yeah. I'm going to cry, but I'm not going to cry right now, but later. Yeah. Um, it's connected it, to your dragon. Yeah. Wow. And I just yeah. found the ring just found me then. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it's connected to a Garth. Though. Yeah. Think of like your, as you, as a, as a dragon, Kind of like an angel, but you're a dragon protecting villages, you know, giving your dragon advice. Okay. You know, you know, just you, you sleep in your cave and you feel <laughs> like there's something going on. You go fly out there and see what's happening, you know. Okay. So I think of it like that way. Yeah. What a wonderful story. Oh yeah. my goodness. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, Welcome. wow. And I, um, when I sleep, uh, at night, I've noticed that uh, lately I've been putting on four rings, and the finger uh, that I put them on may change. Uh, however, I've been wearing four rings to bed two are copper, and one is like um, the healing uh, stone, mm-hmm. uh, a tight or something like that. And, um, but when I wake up in the morning, um, last week I was super exhausted and had like headaches a couple of days, and a lot of times I'm so sore. So I'm wondering, with the rings, am I jumping through portals, or uh, I, I'm trying to figure out what's going on in my sleep because my my bed's all the best too when I wake up. So. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you're it's for protection. Oh. But you go deeper into to okay. astral. I mean, you just you you like power rings basically. Okay. So in astral, you just have a lot more. I mean, you just have more confidence and energy. You work through the ring like somebody would use a a magic a wand for magic. You use the rings for your own magic to harness your abilities. So. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I love this. Yeah, okay. you're flying. Yeah, you're flying around in astral, basically. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you. Well, then the last thing I wanted to ask you was um, about my connection to you um, or like what, like my percentage with, if you can read, give me that uh, reading of, you know, like any messages for me. 
I mean, a mess uh, percentage or message or what is it you're looking for? Or like just... my, my connection to you oh, and okay. then, like, yeah, any messages? Oh, just, my, uh, just well, well, you fought reptilians in your past. Oh. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I think you got a point where you didn't want anything to do with reptilians when you asked. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> so you can say you came here to make some peace with it or to learn from. Uh, you know, to help humanity is why you came here, so. Okay. But I don't think your track record of telling is all that great. <laughs> oh, no. Well, will you accept my olive branch, please? <laughs> oh, no. I mean, it's okay. I mean, trust me, these reptilians are coming to you aren't exactly like church boys. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. <laughs> so, yeah, you had skirmishes with them in Orion and so, okay. yeah, you've had some dealings with them. But, yeah, you had connected to some good reptilians also. They're just few and far between. But, yeah, you connected to some good ones in the past. So. All right. So, all right. Okay. So, I appreciate it. Thank right. you. And right. I'll let Blessings. someone else go. Thank you. Blessings. Right. Blessings. Wow, that's, that's great. Although, you do know, I, I was sitting here thinking if we were – channeling uh, a bug collective i'm not so sure they'd be so quick to say yeah 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 go ahead destroy those air bu- airwigs <laughs> yeah these bugs are uh, kind of a me- of course reptilians are kind of a mess too bugs can be worse <laughs> <laughs> of course that's uh, a reptilian I, saying bugs are worse they yeah, exactly. say the same thing about us <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but you guys are bigger um <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I want to know more about you guys. Actually, um, you said you you're you're more neutral, mm. um, but that there are some some reptilians that are so negative that they they have actually difficulty connecting to us here. Mm. Can you? Um, well, they can't be channeled, but they are here. They're just crazy. Okay. <laughs> kind of like a kamikaze. Uh, Okay. You know, they just, they don't care what they do. They're just completely insane. <laughs> there okay. are some that are that bad. Uh, so they're, 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 their presence and their, uh, they affect our world anyway, but they're too far that we can't actually um, connect yeah. and, and have a, 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 a conversation. Yeah, you have humans like yeah. that. They're in an insane asylum, though. These yeah, reptilians run yeah. around. <laughs> and, and you got you say you guys are neutral, but you're still doing you you uh, um, work with control. Not well, no. not us, no. Ah, okay. But others do. Others do. Okay. Well, we can can connect. We can connect to those, but yeah, this is more like a we're just observers here. Okay. Do you, do you guys interfere interfere with other reptilians, or are you? We can. Yeah. We can. If, if yeah we we do if they cross the line like of course they cross the line in your world all the time (laughs) but but humans let them because humans let them it's like letting a a vampire in your window you know letting into your home well that that's something that i i it it oh i can't say it pains me but it's it's because we we're not as humans we're not working with the whole picture we have no idea i mean until we start opening our minds up to these things we have absolutely no idea that these things this stuff exists so when every time reptilians are in it or whatever say well you got you know you guys welcomed it in and it's it's true because you it, it can't come into our reality if we don't welcome it in i mean it's right. it's very true but we're kind of tricked from the beginning because we don't know so it's from my point our point of view my point of view our point of view is that it's a little unfair to blame us for letting you in when we don't even know you exist kind of thing well astrally you do um but they do it anyway because they need that the human like astral you see everything but the human self your astral self can look at your human self it's like why did you just do that <laughs> so your human self is it just automatically attracts challenges not everybody yeah. but quite a few do so you attract reptilian energies bring those relationships then why are you dating that person drive you yeah 
you know, because that's the human and your astral self is like, okay, I didn't want, you know, this. <laughs> apparently I needed to go through that, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, but, but some perhaps not. Sometimes it's it's just us being, you know, hard-headed yeah. or looking or no, yeah. not hard-headed, but paying attention to stuff that we shouldn't be paying attention to and going, oh, okay, yeah, th this I learned this, so let me do that because that that's how I, I'm a good human. And then it's like, yeah, stick with that person that's, you know, beating you up on Saturdays. It's like, no. Well, I know. <laughs> think of it, this world is like, as you can probably, like a CD bar. <laughs> and yeah. But it's like, you don't have to go into that bar. Yeah. You can just stay out where everything is fine. You don't have to incarnate into this world. So souls incarnate in this world. Obviously, some say they got hijacked and put in here. That does happen. But for the most part, many say yes. And yeah. so when you walk through that door, when you incarnate on this world, this is what you get. <laughs> this is what you get, yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of us, uh, uh, apparently there's a lot, uh, there's a waiting list <laughs> to get into this place. So, you say uh, that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I know that my, um, as an example of my, my sister's uh, boy, well, boyfriend, who spent up uh 32 up until he was 32 or 33 every time he went out to a bar it would end on the up in a bar fight and then one night he was in the bar and he had this like revelation of like oh i'm the one that's making it turn into a bar fight oh and from then on no more bar fights so i was like oh okay take responsibility for your life yeah you know? no it's uh, well, that's why many of you are here to spell it out or to show people, you know, bring like, it's like bring a new language here, you know, a way of looking at thinking and, you know, you're just bringing in a new way of life. That's why you're here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Let me pass it on yeah. to, to okay. somebody else. All right. Blessings. Blessings. Uh, greetings. Uh, I was wanting to ask a finish up this question that I had Wednesday about secret space program, but we didn't get to Max Spears. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the SSP, me and Max Spears has uh, we we did things together. I was wanting to know if you could help me jog that memory. Well, a lot of it's classified, but I mean, it seems like the two of you had, yeah, you went into like different, I don't know if you want to know, <laughs> but you went into different, uh, like genders, like you changed your gender on some of your missions. <laughs> so to either gather intel or so you like, you'll, you know, change your gender to a female so you can get information and you'll turn yourself back, something like that. Uh, yeah. Max was, uh, yeah, Max is kind of a strange, that was like classified over classified around him, but he's pretty deep in all of that. But I feel like part of you was trying to pull him out of those programs, but he got so pulled in, it's, I feel like he's still trying to pull himself out. Even if he's in astral now, he's still trying to deprogram himself. So. Okay. And um, do you have anything else with the secret space program? I'm still working with myself, meditating and trying to, you know, gather up as much as I can and I keep it in a journal. Mm-hmm. Is it, and uh, just anything that you know recently, because it every, I, from my understanding, everything's black off. So whatever uh, stuff that they give us that we can't remember, it's like a double dose. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I mean, you're on world, uh, was it the moon uh, Titan that you're on? You're looking for minerals. Um. There are reptilians that you do work with too, but uh, you've also been a slave in the secret space program on Mars. 
So that wasn't any fun. It's actually a, they show like a picture of like George W. Oh, George is it George W. Bush uh-huh. on the wall where you're being a slave and you're working out. They do have what you say underground farms for food and things like that. But yeah, you would. Yeah, I'm not sure if you want to know about your secret space program lives. So. Well, you can tell me about them. I don't care. I mean, it's, it is what it is. But yeah, well, that's a portion of it, though. And when you say slave, how bad did I have it? Bad. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like your skin was like not in good shape, like blistered. <laughs> so yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not the joy. It's not the show. People are. I mean, some people they they remember what they want to remember. Uh, but there's a whole black. There's a lot of darkness there. But either way, do what they want to do. <laughs> okay, and I got I got one more question. This is um, somebody. It's uh, okay. So it's hard for me to word this, but. Uh, Okay, of course, I don't have nothing against gays or anything or the transgender at all because we've all lived life as male and female and we carry that cell memory over. You know, just a lot of people don't know that. But anyway, my question is, are they pushing people, these younger kids, into that? Oh, yeah. So it's to be, um, it will get rid of the population of the world because there'll be less babies. Does that make any sense? No, well, it's not just that. Just they're they're adding more confusion. These beings that are here are chaos beings. So they're just they're taking whatever they can, they're throwing it every they're throwing it at the people. So if they can get a kid can be confused and get gender swapped and the kid finds out they didn't have to do that or you know, just another they're always hitting people with everything. So it's part of, people will always find a way to have kids. You know how people are. <laughs> they'll keep they'll keep the kids cranked in here. They'll they'll figure out something. <laughs> so the population, yeah, it'll go up and down, but people will always have children here. It just you can say that is one way of slowing it down, but it's just to cause people trouble, basically. The beings that do that will have every minute of it. <laughs> They just watch. They like to watch people swarm around and lose it. It's entertainment for them. Huh. So that's why your world is entertainment. Like you guys watch Netflix. They watch aliens watch your world and screw your planet. <laughs> so well, they put Biden in there to screw with it. It's just their entertainment. It's pretty twisted, actually. <laughs> and this this is one thing I really don't understand. You know. Okay, so I know that I'm living trillions of lives right now as we speak, and so is everybody else here. So how come these aliens, they, they ought to know that. So mm-hmm. why would you be beating up and picking on a third-dimensional race when you know you're going to get karma for it? And, and you never know, they may be doing it to you in the next life. Well, it's like asking one person why they drink alcohol all the time. They just, they get drunk off of messing with humans. They get addicted to it. Okay. So they get high off of it. When you have that high, you, you want to keep it. So they don't think about the karma and all that. I mean, some souls just get wiped out. They don't think, yeah, well, I'm just don't think like that. They're just, they think they can get away with it forever. Well, if they keep messing with you, I mean, they feel like they're teaching you lessons so that somehow they can get out of it, but that's not always the case. Eventually, humans will realize they're being screwed with. I mean, in a way where they can actually see the aliens doing it. <laughs> they can see the tricksters do it. Some do, but they don't think they're seeing, they think they're just seeing things. So, yeah. All right. Well, thank you. I'll let All some right. else. Oh, bless. 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 Greetings. Greetings. Um, what's my connection with the Alpha Draconians? I think it turns some of them into fairies and 
into like happy beings or something like that. Mm -hmm. Sounds like, you're like a you yeah, you're like a wizard and you just turn them into you can take a reptilian that's out of his mind and turn him into a girl or something like that. It's like, what did you just do to me? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you've at least yeah, you've dealt, you've had actually you've been on slave ships of Reconians too as a human. Uh and you freed yourself as a Zeta even under their control and you would tamper with the reptilian technologies and take over their ship and then escape. <laughs> so uh, you're like one of those Zetas that they wanted reptilians wanted your technology, your ideas. No, they would steal it basically. So yeah, I've experienced that even in this incarnation. Yeah. Um, so yeah. What what do you think about that? How I kind of um manifest something in my own life and then like years later I'll see it in the mainstream but perverted i mean is that kind of what you're referring to yeah i think that's kind of normal i mean it doesn't have to be normal but <laughs> it doesn't seem like you have any control over that just know that you can create something that will work and not be stolen <laughs> If that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, you have a natural ability of creating things. So, you just gotta be you. Not worry about it. Just it'll all work itself out. Yeah, is that just a matter of waiting for the moment that I get the inspiration for it? Because that's where I find the most meaning. But lately, I just like it hasn't been flowing. So. Yeah, it'll come. It'll come in spurts. It's not going to constantly flow. I, mean, I don't know what you're trying to do in your life. I mean, I can see you as a a bit of an inventor. There's an inventive energy there. I don't know if you want to become a, an inventor yourself, but I don't, I don't know. I don't want to be assassinated <laughs> for making free energy. Well, you can't look at it from a fear perspective. Well, true. You yeah. just gotta be yourself, and if you get assassinated, you get assassinated. All right. <laughs> like, hey, at least I was me. <laughs> so whatever your passions are, but I do see an inventive energy there. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, free energy. I mean, I'm just you know, that's for something for you to you know, if that's something you want to do, <laughs> you know. But I could see you making little inventions and actually selling them. Yeah, they might get stolen here and there, but you know, you have a mind where you can keep creating, so you can stay ahead of it. True. So I don't know. Just a that's thought. interesting. Yeah, I haven't thought about that. So thank you. You just gotta be yourself. Yeah, just yeah, just I mean, yeah, you just create little trinkets and somehow make someone's life better. I mean, I'm not seeing exactly what that would be, but I think you have the idea, though. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, I have another question. So yeah. when I'm driving around and I'll see, like, this is a big hub for military and deep state stuff in this city. Mm. And so when I'm driving around and then I start making connections afterwards on Google <laughs> Maps and stuff, obviously, like, all of that is three-dimensional, but is there something from your perspective that I'm also tapping into that I don't see when I'm doing that? Well, yeah, you're, you know, that there's probably things going on that shouldn't be like they shouldn't be doing. And they're covering, I think they have an idea, like some aliens do pick up on their energy. Not that they're going to do anything, but it's good that you're doing that. <laughs> cool you know yeah because you let your intuition tell you what it needs to tell you if it's, if it's keeping itself back it's probably just that means that the, the men of black probably won't show up which is probably a good thing because <laughs> <laughs> they can pick up on thoughts and stuff like that but don't be yeah don't be worried but no i think it's your invested your, your investigative mind you're trying to figure things out so for sure. be, yeah, be yourself. So you're not going to get any trouble with that. That'd be all right. 
I didn't think so. I mean, no, you're just figuring it out on your own. So, no, I think it's good. Without going into what you're suspecting, I think I have an idea without going into words of that. Yeah. I got no, I think you. I think you're on to something. Cool. So yeah, I just you keep doing that. Yeah, it's quite fine. Yeah. You're not climbing the fence of a military base or anything. No. So <laughs> That's what I figure. It's like it's better to do it non three. You're fine. Yeah. Cool. You are complete. They can't do anything. I mean, energy wise, you might feel sick or something or start sneezing. It's like, whoa, what am I sneezing for? It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody well, doesn't like that. that out, I tell them, like, fuck off. And then exactly. Like, yeah. So. Exactly. Yeah. No, don't worry about it. Do, do, do it. Yeah. That's, there's nothing going to stop you. That's quite sure. right. But yeah, you'll come up with all these ideas. It's like, uh, they're just, like some military people, they saw what you were doing. It's like, oh, geez. <laughs> we're not very good at keeping our secrets. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe I mean, more. it's a military basically protecting the elite of the planet. That's basically what this is. So, Yeah, exactly. It's so, elites fighting elites. That's all it really is. That's what I've... Um kind of got and that's what i mean i really liked michael's question there at the end about you know but that's you know your answer was yeah straightforward too so yeah so but yeah keep doing what you're doing all right thank but you. i still see that inventor side of you you might want to explore that i will for sure i haven't mean i haven't really tapped into that so yeah i can be just... I think you'll surprise yourself. Some stuff you'll just know. Yeah. I don't know. So, all right. Blessings. Thank you. Blessings. Blessings. All right. I could go. Greetings. Greetings. Um, so, future timelines. It gets kind of a little bit confusing in the sense of, like, I mean, I'm sure there's versions where we're kind of you know, separating in the sense of, you know, like the Dracos, reptilians, the ones that are negative, they'll have kind of their space over there. But then we're always going in this cycle of eventually if we keep dividing that way, something's always going to be invading us if we're just creating our own separate bubble. So then I feel like there's that other side where maybe we're kind of supposed to be merging and balancing out even our DNA where maybe some of us like like, let's say you had a higher dimensional kind of energy, so maybe they would take some of that, uh, like, reptilian DNA, too, to kind of bring it into a more, um, I guess, you know, like, kind of even it out, so to speak, mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, I just feel like, like, with myself, it's hard kind of, like, I don't want to hide. I don't want to run. And at the same time, it feels kind of like like we have to hide and we have to run because otherwise it's something is coming to get you. Like from your more neutral kind of perspective, I guess, what is an advice on how to really deal with these types of beings? Like eventually, are they going to want to kind of be in a place where we could be in a little bit more peace? And I don't know what I'm asking exactly. No, I, think, I, think I, under, well, I think I have an I think I have an well, it's like, you know, like where you live, like it's the city you live in, like like reptilian city, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm gathering. It's like you're aware of that, and like you see a person, and it's like, oh, well, that's a Palladian person, that's a Syrian person. You know, it doesn't mean you have to go to everybody and do that, but you when you become aware of the beings that are around you, uh. Or even beings you don't see, but you feel their presence. See, that's you becoming more aware of your environment. See, a lot of aliens don't feel like you're going to pick up on them. And it's like, well, I feel like a lot of Palladians are around. They're like, whoa, that's, we didn't think you could pick us up. And they're standing mm -hmm. right there looking at you, but you can't see them. So what I'm getting at is like, the more of you are investigating your environment... You know, you're making it normal for feeling the aliens that are here. 
and where people aren't afraid of that idea might see you crazy now. And then over time, other people will start to feel it and see it. So um, I'm not sure if that's answering your question at mm -hmm. all, but yeah, but th this is how you become aware of your, and besides that, I see it as a fairy person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the desert, it seems, because I live like right by Red Rock Canyon, so I'm rarely mm -hmm. kind of around the strip and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But it kind of feels like the veils are thinner in the desert. Like it's easier sometimes maybe to even channel or something or connect yep. with certain types of things. Um, well, it's, yeah, it has to do with the military energy that's there. But also mm -hmm. they feel like nobody's looking anyway. <laughs> like, I, don't, I mean, you are. <laughs> yeah. But you are. And other people that are similar to you that are, you know, they might feel it, but they don't know what it is. But you, you're identifying it. So you put that in the energy in the universe of your planet for others to start thinking like you're thinking. Is the only way out of this whole, because like let's say that we raise in uh, frequency and vibration and eventually we become less dense because it seems like as long as we're in the physical, how the hell do you heal from traumas of being, you know, eaten alive and all this, you know, really dark stuff happening, especially if it's happened a lot of times, like that's all in our cellular memory. So level of trauma, it's very difficult to kind of, um, but then like as we raise in, in the dimensions, that negative energy is still there. It just operates in a different way. So is it kind of like, there we're balancing out a like we don't have to fear anymore like you know somebody the mm -hmm. physical pain right but there is the type of i guess like mental kind of mental well, games and things <laughs> like, yeah you know? what happens is you heal when you be, when humans become more aware of this you can heal in the physical mm -hmm. as yeah. you talk about it now you're healing it now but as more humans are allowing that conversation to occur, the healing process gets... So you can be physical and heal from it. So basically, yeah. everybody be talking yeah. crazy, basically. Yeah, it seems that way. It feels like it'll take a while, but I feel like, yeah. I, I, feel like I can see a version of Earth yes. where the reptilians and the Draco, the more we allow, because I feel like why they're bad is because they're kept in the shadows and they're being mm -hmm. judged they're being judged by the light. They don't want to be seen. So they become right. darker and darker and more evil and these evil things get done. Right. But the more we kind of accept that, the more, um, you know, and start seeing those things and the version of earth gets created where we can actually be friends with them, even though they might have some different ways, but we're not going to be like, you know, inflicting torture on each other anymore on that right. version. And, and maybe that's when we could finally let go of the fear because it's hard to be told here you know, do not fear when the level of, you know, trauma has just gotten out of control. Well, yeah, they, well, the reptilians that are, have problems with humans, uh, they usually are the crazy ones. They just go around manipulating humans and say, hey, look, you guys are no better than we are. I just got yeah. that person to shoot people or whatever. You guys I get that. I feel that way sometimes. Like I have yeah. some light, light friends, and I'm like, "You're not as light as you might think you are." <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're yeah, you correct. Yeah. Yeah. Some say they're light, and they're just ready to be triggered and go psycho. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Well, see, you're seeing, like with a light person, you're seeing their their trigger points. Not that you're there to trigger it, but you can see it. Mm-hmm. But they don't see it themselves, of course. So that's yeah. what your world's here to figure out. It's going to take some time, as you can see. So healing pretty much is just gradually bringing everything to be seen and understood. And then the yeah. wounds and traumas kind of fall away on their own almost, right? Because... Yeah, it's, yes. It doesn't always have to be seen. Just like some people are giving their power to religion. They don't always mm -hmm. see angels, but it's just like their inner belief, their inner belief, like there's aliens here. And it's like, I might not see them, but I can feel them. And I feel better connecting to that energy. You know, mm -hmm. it's like you're, you're just your inner self. You're letting yourself be you, wherever that is. So, 
Mm-hmm. So, so do I? Just, I let, you know, mm-hmm. So there are are there like ver? I mean, I'm sure there are, but I guess I just want to like hear. Mm-hmm. There are versions of whether it's Earth or some kind of physical reality where, like, I actually have maybe friends that are like, but you know, my 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 reptilian buddy here, <laughs> like, yeah, and that well, might be even protecting me a little bit in this reality now. Correct. Yeah. Yes. It's just mm-hmm. this reality. I feel like you're just yeah, you're you're doing a lot of inner work in this lifetime. So that's why I don't I feel have drained. I feel tired. It's like yeah. Well, yeah, you're. Well, a lot of your energies are connected to like the ancient Greeks, the Greek mythology time. You spend a lot of time there. Mm-hmm. So you're still healing from all of that. Yeah, being eaten by a big wizard or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a channeling where Ivan was channeling. He said, "Oh yeah, you've been eaten by the Draco. You've been sacrificed like eight times at least." So. Yeah. Just, yeah, I feel that. Yeah. But <laughs> that's hard to Yeah. I do not want that to happen again. <laughs> no, it won't happen again. No. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. I'll let somebody right. else go. Right. Thank you very much. Blessing. Oh. Yes, Greece. I was wondering uh, I think me and Galicia have a similar thing where in Lyra, where we had a, as people or people didn't believe her, it was that is that uh, kind of like why I feel like I'm a, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's like um, like we're just right about stuff, and everyone's trying to shut us down because of our intuition about stuff. Yes. Well, yeah, you've been heckled in your path. You have also had scientific lifetimes, where you've been a scientist and. A lot of your scientific work has been looked down upon on others by others. So, but yeah, both of you have been in the same, yeah, been ridiculed by others. So, yes. I was wondering about my uh, draconic connections. Draconian? Um, with your draconian connections, you've had a lot of times where. Actually, it's been pretty you know, tame. Uh, worlds where it's just kind of like vacation plants for reptilians. Of course, we're living on the ground. You know, we're not living in palaces. We're just living on the land, and you know, and you know, just kind of like a swamp plant. Not fully a swamp, but quite a bit of swamp lands where you just, you know, kind of live a simple life. Uh, you've yeah, you've battled reptilians in your past, but you had like an understanding of them. You would actually be a healer of reptilian beings. You've had the the abilities similar to like the Jesus healing, where you could take a reptilian and heal their wounds. That was some time ago, though. <laughs> like you would make friends, even a reptilian that was very aggressive, you would, uh, you know, be friends to them. Yeah, you're very neutral in your past. So. Uh, but yeah, you've been on planets where you've been invaded by reptilians and had to flee, <laughs> had to leave the planet. So, yeah. Well, last week, uh, Dragon Ladies said I should, I'm being asked to start channeling, but so what techniques uh, should I try to do that? Uh, it's just through, just through your intuition what you feel to connect with, what you, I mean, you channel through your music. I would just concentrate on your music. Just use that as a channeling form. Just channel music. And you can channel Palladian beings, reptilian beings, whoever you want to connect with. It's totally up to you. That would be the easiest to get used to it. Good. So did she mean I should start channeling kind of like Ivan does, or because I think uh, I've been told I can channel also. Right. Other if you want, if you want, to, you don't have to. I mean, it's good to have the desire to do so. So it feels like you have other things going on, but if you want to, yes. And you feel the time is right. 
I was wondering uh, if uh, King Arthur is related to Poseidon. Or can uh, my... Yeah, mostly Zeus, but there's a Poseidon connection there. He's mostly a Zeus connection there. You can see all those guys are a little bit related to each other. I have a fractal of Poseidon and Zeus. Do I also have a fractal of, of Hades? Uh, yes, no doubt. Yeah, you have a lot of fractal energy of that. I would say like 30% in a neutral way. Was that for Hades? Or yes, for Hades. What, yeah. what about uh, Poseidon and Zeus? Uh, Poseidon, I would say like 40%. Zeus, 30%. Uh, sometimes that goes to five percent. I'm not sure how you and you and Zeus don't always get along. So, but Poseidon's a strong connection, though. I was uh, wondering if uh, I was wondering about King Arthur. He said he wants me to he wants to see me roar like a lion. Or so should I do that? Like start doing that? Should I work on my uh, throat chakra or the uh? Was it the third chakra? The early chakra. I uh, mean, you can do toning with your chakra, with your throat chakra. You don't have to roar like a lion unless you, unless you want to. That's entirely up to you on that one. If you feel comfortable with that, sure. But you can just do toning with it. I was wondering if uh, the shard in London is that connected to Avalon? Uh, yes. There's portions of it connected to it. Yes. Oh, have a connection to Mozart. Uh, yes. It's. I can say he wrote similar music. Or music style during that time. I believe you did know him briefly. So, like, like, like you say, you stole ideas from each other. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but it was kind of like a mutual thing. It was okay. <laughs> like melodies, stuff like that. But you played music in the same music halls in your past. Yeah. But I feel like it was a friendly rivalry from what I can see. I think you're more, I think you're financially more popular. Mm -hmm. I mean, you made more money than he did. Mm -hmm. Somehow, we figured that out. You had better connections than he did. Was I like part of the, like the music elite or something? Yeah, some, yeah, like the French. Elite, yeah, he had better contacts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if my mom has a connection to France. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Two of you have had many connections there. She's also been your sister in the past. Yeah, Fran France is like a, a second home or a first home, however you want to look at it. Like France goes with you everywhere you go. Yeah, I've always liked the French architecture. Yep. Even when I was younger. Yeah, France is your, you know, your soul is so connected to France. Even during uh, Roman times, and like more of the later, later Roman times, you've had connections to France. As France is developing. Doesn't mean that you're always in France, but it seems like you're always kind of connected to France in some form or another. Oh, so I guess me and Lilith have a lot of French connections as well, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah, she loves the French. I was wondering if uh, Lilith, uh, does she bring the succubus, succubi to me, or does she keep, keep them away? Oh, she brings it to you. Sometimes she keeps it away. 
when she wants that. I mean, she, if she wants to have fun with you, she brings it in. So am I kind of like an incubus or succubus or not either? Uh, incubus sometimes, yeah. You don't always have it on. I mean, you're not an incubus being, but you can, you can bring that energy to you, yes, when you want it. Does that come through in my music, or is that more the vampire side of me? Uh, music. So, what about the vampire side? Is that also my music, or is it which one's more dominant uh, in my music? Yeah, there's a there's a bit of that there. Yep, kind of a gothic energy. Yeah, yeah. There, I mean, there's versions of Earth where it's kind of like you've been a vampire in France. But that's another version of Earth. Similar to, um, was it the interview with the vampire? Not exactly. You didn't live like that. But you have lived within French society, though, as a vampire in another lifetime. I see. Uh, I was wondering about, uh, do you have any uh, message or connections to Ra recently? He seems to be helping with your music. He's been, you know, expressing his emotions through your through your energy. So, because he has healing modalities that work through you, it seems. Yeah. They're healing also. What kind of healing? From torturing and causing people difficulties, being trickster being <laughs> in his past. He has a lot of issues. <laughs> People sacrifice the raw. He's clearing all that out. Mm -hmm. A lot people, of people. A lot of people have been sacrificed the raw. You were sacrificed to me as well. Was that also my raw connection? Yes. I was wondering about my uh, rabbit DNA percent. Is that my rabbit DNA? Is that why I can sometimes see in 360 degrees? Like in astral? Yes. Right. Yep. Oh, can you tell me my percentage? Of what percentage? Uh, of rabbit. What? Uh, rabbit DNA, if, if I have any. Mm, around 6%. That's like an Alpha Centauri connection. So 6% Alpha Centauri. I was wondering in, uh, another question about Lith. Is that. Uh, do we have a i know we got kundalini connections but do we have like a a connection that's like that but it's like an alternate version of kundalini yes mm -hmm. like one that people don't know about yes or not yet no it hasn't it, it might not be revealed here but yes yes thank you that's uh, all i got for now okay all right blessings um, I had a question about uh, love interest, um, which is the same guy. He he moved back uh, further east, uh, and now it appears that he's um, um, <laughs> well, things aren't going very well with his boyfriend. So I'm going. Oh yes, that sounds good. Do you have any um <laughs> any? Can you look into that and see if there's any uh anything going on there or if uh i should just yeah he'll be... probably he'll probably come crawling back to you eventually oh yes <laughs> say that again i want to know <laughs> yeah okay um yeah he'll, put, he'll be back you just gotta just keep talking to him yeah and just you know be real with them and oh that's good you know you don't have to you know it's good that you're just independent meaning that you speak your mind it feels like he likes that. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're not just going by everything he says. Oh, yeah, sure. Go do that. Yeah, go do that. Yeah. No, oh, it's, no it's, it's him. Yeah. It's, oh, it's just lovely with him. It's so easy. It just feels so natural and easy and no effort, no pretense, no, uh, it's just, oh, this is good. So, um, but he also has a very high sense of, um, duty and he's been going out with this guy for eight years and 
It's like, wow, I don't know how you lasted eight years with this guy. But anyway, uh, hey, I'm not going to pull you away from him, even though I do want to. But uh, you have to figure that one out. So yeah, 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 it's good to let him make obviously make his own choice to come back to you yeah you'll respect that space yeah yeah that's the best way to go about it excellent yeah okay do your thing and be yeah be you do your yeah whatever you need to do and yeah that let that go where it needs to go yeah oh that's um that's great um and then just um do you have any uh any uh, advice or messages? Uh, let's see. You tamed your reptilian mother. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. So <laughs> you have an energy of be able to handle passive aggressive beings. So, oh. and you don't even have to have a lot of reptilian in yourself to do that, which is good. <laughs> well, I'm actually I'm actually not proud of myself because. I did, we, I, I, I didn't, she was here for, what, four days, and by the third day, I kind of, we had a discussion, and I was, I was saying, well, why couldn't I be patient just for another day, but it was like, it was too much, so. No, it feels like she was wearing you out. Oh, my God, she is, she's a force of nature, and she appears as a She's a charming little old English lady, and then, oh boy, spend some time with her, and you realize that's just the appearances. <laughs> well, she seems to get. Usually, she gets what she wants. Oh yes. And so you're dealing with somebody that has narcissistic energy. Oh so. yes. Somebody has to throw cold water on that every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Oh good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I survived. Yeah. So. <laughs> Good. I mean, the okay. pre-rescue, you know, the for those that are having children, not every person here has a lot of reptilian, but there, it is pretty common, as you can probably see. Yeah. Aggressive humans, and they show their darkness, and they can't handle their darkness. I mean, this world yeah. is similar to like a primitive reptilian planet. It's just that reptilian planets usually... We're aware of the aliens. We're aware of the dimensions and the soul. Your world shut all that off. Yeah. So it makes it more difficult. Yeah. So it's like people, reptilian worlds are usually, we're more aware of ourselves. Like, whoa, am I being, for example, an asshole to everybody? It's like, oh, wait, I am. Yeah. In your world, people don't notice that. Yeah. Well, sorry. They turn that off. Yeah, she, well, she's amazingly, amazingly unaware of. Of the, yeah. Yeah, she, she and, and yet she spends so much time, and she overthinks everything, and so it's so strange that she, she she's so self uh, absorbed, but not self aware. Really no. fascinating. Yeah. Uh, but oh, well. yeah, you're here to bring your pixie dust to clear that energy the best you can. <laughs> It's like you're dealing with an alligator being that wants to munch on everybody practically. Oh, she 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 does. She uh, yeah. she the poor people that I call I think they're almost her victims. But she loves to talk to every every single person she sits beside, and it's like mm-hmm. I think oh the poor. Well, that is, no, she, that, she, that she, part's she, funny. I mean, that's good. Yeah. I think that's, but yeah, she can get kind mm-hmm. of, uh, she's not self aware. No, but she, she is entertaining. So yeah. they, I mean, I, I imagine yeah, most people just go, must go away. And I just met the weirdest person. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's good. Yeah. Okay. She definitely has reptilian yeah. energies. But yeah, with you, you're just, you're just, trying to raise the vibration as you can see you yeah. deal with tri- trickster beings and astral way that's why you got sick too a while back you're just dealing with a lot of those coming from your government oh okay yeah. oh my there's, a lot, there's a lot there <laughs> oh, I, i'm being a good canadian okay <laughs> yeah. okay
I mean, when you live in Canada, you shouldn't have to deal with that type of that type of rule because it's a lot of queen energy there. Yeah. So yeah. you say you go against the queen. You don't want anything to do with that. But the queen's energy, I believe that's what you're going against that control mechanism. That's why you got sick. I guess that's oh, the oh, okay. So I'm rebelling. Hmm, yeah, it's okay. pretty toxic. The queen stuff. Yeah. That's there from the royal family. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all, um, all hidden behind being nice and good. So, yeah, yeah it's well, like the government in Canada, we do feel like it will improve, but this person has to step. The Trudeau has to leave. Yeah, and we feel yeah. like then, then it'll, it'll get slightly better. It won't be a hundred percent better, but it will get a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's just so. He, he he's just completely government like yeah oh yeah he's it's, a it's, puppet yeah. yeah yeah exactly yeah yeah which so i mean he's actually not bad he's just no 100 percent politician it's like exactly oh, okay. yeah it's like passion okay. zero yeah it's like with, with good sounding words but it's just government yeah. government spokesman yeah okay yeah exactly and yeah. the queen the, it's funny because Canada sees more of the aggression, aggressive side of the crown, at least mm -hmm. publicly. It is not always seen in London, but seen there, though, overseas of all places. Yeah. Well, we're 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 separate, but yeah. on friendly on friendly terms. So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Blessings. Of course. All right. Blessings. I just want to know how much reptilians in my father and how many are around him trying to. Uh, 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 six. Six. Is it the same six that stay around him all the time? Yeah. I mean, it feels like he went down to three, but you just have six. And he has, you know, about 50% reptilian in him, you know, or 10% if you want to keep it light, but. It can go pretty high with him, especially when he gets mad. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. He's spent a lot of time in the war in the underworld as a reptilian being. So. And these these three, do they stay around him pretty much all the time trying yeah. to dictate his life and his avatar? Yeah, they feed off of him. Every now and then they feed off his energy. Yeah, it just uh, you know he's sl he's slowly slipping away. So, but yeah, it's I mean that they, it's funny though they've actually gotten better. Uh, the reptilians used to be pretty bad, but they've actually improved because because of your mother's energy. They've actually gotten a little bit better. So this is most of your father's darkness now. Yeah, that that's what I was wanting to say too, because you know, with the prayers and my light that I shed through their ear, mm -hmm. you know, I thought I I was able to get rid of anything that was not you know wanted. Well, the reptilians have improved in their energy; they're still there, but they're not causing hassle as they used to. Look at it that way. So. They're 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 being cool. Let's put it that way. Okay, and um, I just want to ask you about a race that's supposed to be even that that the reptilians are have alliance with. Um, I guess you would call them tall grays, and they they're the Maytra M A Y T R A, mm -hmm. extremely violent. Mm -hmm. um, do you know? It, Anything about them, or can you talk about them? Because yeah, those are usually like an insectoid race, but yeah, they can be pretty bad. They are here though. They're yeah, they're not welcomed here, but they're still here anyway. But they have two legs and and, mm -hmm. and just two arms, and they're yeah. tall, kind of palish, and have like a ugly, mean looking face. Yeah, they look like grays. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, they look like, but they're like insectoid gray beings. Yeah. 
And could you tell me more about them? I know they they take humans off planet as well, but uh, they're involved with mostly the secret space program. Okay. Uh, the human trafficking, they're involved with that to a certain level. Not hugely involved, but yeah, they feed off the human's energy. So they do manipulate the... I mean, the race isn't... It's not... Yeah, it's not doing too well. It's kind of dying. So the ones that are left over are the ones messing with your politicians and things like that. They live on a moon. They're not saying which moon. Well, uh, in Orion. They live in Orion. They're kind of like parasite beings. But they oh. feel off of negativity. But they're, they're losing... Their 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 families are just getting smaller and smaller. But they do feed off the Earth's negativity, though. Okay. And is this true, like, way back a long time ago, um, that the reptilian, like, a black hole separates the universes, right? Yes, it can, yeah. Oh, so that some beings kick the reptilians out of their universe and put them here. Yeah, but they find their way back to those universes. <laughs> they just they just don't make a noise. But yeah, they can't be that that has happened though, yes. Okay. But they're not always aware where they're sending them. They just send them away. Or well, they send them back where they came from. And a lot of them came from here. So but is it true that when you're a reptilian, they're they're more loyal to each other? Like, so if you were a male, and uh, you would have two females, and they're the and and they, uh, I don't know, they do funny things. Like I've heard that some reptilians will have like clones of Oprah as pets, and. <laughs> And, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Is there any truth to that? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. But not all reptilian... Yeah, the Oprah thing is rare, but it does happen. Um, is there any clones of Britney Spears, things like that? Um, they connect to the energy of it. Oprah, they like, just, they like controlling her because she's very easy to control. Yeah. Uh, but not all reptilians are always you know, good to each other. It depends on the race. Some race races do are, you know, they respect each other. But some want to just, they don't care. You have a girlfriend, they'll come and take her. They don't care. Of course, she might kick your ass after you take her. <laughs> That's yeah. usually what happens. Like, I'm not your property. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> well, um, uh, I remember I was told that I was a uh, dragon being when the human population first started, and I was, I think I might have been humanoid, like a dragon slash human, and I was trying to help them, but anyway, they killed me. Uh, if you can pick up any of that, could you? Yeah, you've had many times when you're trying to be good. And humans misunderstand you or get scared of you. It doesn't mean they always kill you, but you have to step away from them. You know, so you've had you've had a lot of run-ins with humans where they just don't understand you, and you've also been a Neanderthal <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> so pretty smart one too, because you can, you know, create uh, fire and stuff like that, and. Even had a family. <laughs> I don't know if you can remember any of that. No, I do not. No. Yeah, live out in the in the woods. Uh, was that United States or where? Yeah, well, Utah. 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 But I realized the world was a whole different, totally different. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. And that was a time where dinosaurs were roaming around too. Wow. Yeah. I bet it was hard to live back then as a human. Cause oh, they were smart. No, they were pretty smart. Yeah, they didn't have all these things. They didn't have all these distractions, so it wasn't too bad. Oh. They were pretty, yeah, humans are looked down. To, 
as oh you're a cave person, but yeah, they're a smart caveman though. So okay. and they're pretty telepathic too. Caveman. Well, yeah, it's a Neanderthal. It's a Neanderthal. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I think to, I'm gonna let some other people talk. It's been okay. Right. So, bless. Yes. Hi, um, I have a question about my sister's son. He passed away this January of cancer. Do you have any message from him to my sister? Uh, well, he's still, I mean, that was an exit point for him. Uh, okay. You can say he's still bothered by what, how he left and he didn't want to leave, but it was his time to go. Yeah. So. He, I felt like he was like very, he looked like he was very angry, yeah. like in the, in that part where he was, uh, bef just before he was, uh, leaving. Yeah. So I think he had a, a little bit of trouble adapting that he was going to die. I'm not sure. Well, to teach his mother about life, you know, death. Wow. You know, to have more peace with it. That, well, it has to do with her. Yeah, I had I uh, tried to explain to her that he's not dead. He's just yeah. shifted reality, and she she's so asleep, so she doesn't grasp that reality to understand that he's not he has not passed away. <laughs> so yeah. she she took it very very hard. Well, she's very scared. Mm. Well, when her time comes, what it was that's gonna come now, but. When her time comes to leave, that'd yeah. be a, a while in the future. She'll start to see him and understand. But this might be like a couple of minutes before she leaves the world, though. Oh, <laughs> so she she will he will maybe uh, be there when she passes away. Oh yeah. So. yeah. Oh yeah, lovely. But she's she's kind of torturing herself. She's in yeah. denial. I mean, yeah, she is. <laughs> this is something she needs to go through. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have been trying to talk to her and stuff, but I don't. I think it, it's her uh, way of uh, morning. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's okay. I said to her, you just have to do what you have to do. So it's okay. You will, you will eventually, you will understand what what it's all about. So yeah. well, uh, she has I, to love herself more. She doesn't really love herself that much. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, I know. yeah, I know. That's that's true. Um, two years ago, I had a friend of mine. She she came here to my apartment, and she wanted to celebrate my birthday. I had another friend of hers here, and my son was in the living room. And then she took her friend and she went to the bathroom. And then my son he heard uh, ringing bells from the bathroom, and I thought it was outside. I thought it was the uh, van with ice cream that was turning on the mm -hmm. the bells, but then I uh, I got a strange feeling. I thought maybe she was doing some spell in my bathroom. Can you see if something like that happened from my friend, old friend Malena? No, she's not that sophisticated. No, but she More... tried to do something or or drugs. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I see yeah. more drugs around her, and I do see spells. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's. <laughs> she's not gonna put a spell on you. She's not. She's not that aware. But yeah, she's just having troubles with herself. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Because I was, uh, I had like a strange feeling because my bath. I had problem with my bathroom the other day, and I was like, "Was it her?" I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> Well, she's bringing in low energies, yeah. So it's good to clear out your bathroom, definitely. Sage it or so. Yeah. Will it help? Yep. Yep. Okay. She just, her energy, she has trouble slowing down. She's very archon. Hyper. She's very hyper. Yeah, she has this archon energy. Yeah, she just, you know, she's just fighting with herself all the time, but. There's only so much she can do. She's doing the best she can. 
Yeah, I haven't uh, had so much contact with her after that ringing bell. I thought she was doing spell or something in my bathroom. So you always ask I her. Took, uh, I have taken. Yeah, I asked her. I yeah. took. I I uh, separated from the friendship. So we have been taking a pause for a long time. That's I was good. like, yeah, I was like, I didn't feel her energy matched mine. So yeah. we we had to just take take a break from there. Uh, and uh, I have another friend of mine. Uh, do you, can you see her? Her name is Shema, and she's uh, an old friend of mine. We connected. We had a really good friendship, and suddenly something happened, and we lost contact. And uh, if you can see something about her. Oh, uh, well, she just has to go in her own direction. She's trying to find herself, figure herself out. I feel okay. like there's a male energy she's trying to connect with. Okay. So the relationship is what she's chasing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what is my past connection with her? Because I felt like a sister or something. Yeah, Pleiadian sister. lifetimes, yeah. Pleiadian. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. Princesses. She, she's so beautiful. Her, She has so beautiful soul and we had so good connection, so I was like, I felt like we kn- we knew each other from before. <laughs> yeah, I just saw a bunch of you were like princesses together. Oh, so. that's nice. Yeah. Okay, I let someone else go in line. <laughs> right. Blessings. Blessings, thank you. Bobby, you go. You haven't gone yet. All right, sure. Um, I'll go ahead. Just um, I was curious to know. Thanks for that. Um, as a kid, uh, I heard stories about me and like uh, you know things I would say, and um, I had like a real smart mouth on me. It would get me in trouble in school a lot. I was wondering, did I have a lot of reptilian influence around me growing up? Yeah, mostly from your father. Right, right. A lot of his, you know, aggressive um, behaviors. He had patterns and all that. Well, kind he of- used to. Yeah, he's taken over planets in his past. Right, right. So, and you've been with them, you either gave him the idea, or you would take over a planet and leave, invade a planet, and he would, then he would come over and take it over. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And not do anything with it. <laughs> and it seems like, uh, yeah, it just felt like um, I, I had a lot of nightmares growing up, and I was just wondering, you know, like, where that influence come from, uh, was I getting a lot of visitations, and was it reptilian, or was that? Uh, some of them are well, insectoids, okay. trying to program you, trying to. I feel like you've been haunted by insects in your past. Like you've been on a world and be swarming with insect beings haunting you and trying to poison your energy, trying to program you. Yeah, speaking of haunted by insects, I'm dealing with like blood parasites right now. Yeah, and I've been purging them since like last year. Um, I was wondering where that connection come from and uh, like where they did originate and is uh, there light at the end of the tunnel So I feel a lot better from where I was at, but it just seems like it never ends. Well, some of them have been engineered by uh, mantis beings. So mantis beings created like a hybrid insect and it like, like kind of like a Frankenstein and it broke out and just it multiplied and just become like a Terminator <laughs> type of uh insect like it was impossible to stop I like little black eggs yeah so what you're dealing with is like a remnants of it like a version of that mm, interesting. So it's like unstoppable insects eventually yeah I mean there's vulnerabilities but yeah so it's trying to poison it's you can say those insects are kind of lost they're just they're just attracted to your energy and just yeah, trying been, to lay eggs and yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to take homeopathic ways of remedying it. Um, you know, all natural, and trying to keep away from medication and side effects. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going pretty well, but uh, I don't know if it's going to do the you know the coup de grace and you know finish um, them. I don't know if you want well maybe not insect to repellent, but maybe like an oil, um, an insect oil repellent or something. For like you put something <laughs> on your skin. A tea tree oil? Yeah, that'll keep them away. And uh, I guess just for the aura and the sense of it. Yeah, Yeah, like a, like a, uh, 
was it like a, a lotion or something like that for tea tree something right, like right. that yeah that's natural for you that won't make you dry me up. out yeah exactly yeah. All right, very cool. Yeah. Um, that's what, yeah. All right. Yeah. That would be, I I've been looking into that, but um, uh, thank you for that. Um, also, oh, that just kind of slipped my mind. It was in there, but uh, yeah. Um, oh yeah, my nature with the uh, the reptilian collective, um, because it's, it feels like a mixed bag my whole life. Um, but I feel there's positive connections there as well because I vis you know I had another medium kind of channel in and she put a portal through where she said only benevolent beings you know for the best intent can come through mm -hmm. and a reptilian came through you know kind of strutting his tail around the place you know and uh mm -hmm. you know he he helped her out with my questions and channeling um looking to see what's my nature with the reptilian collective well you, you got respect from the reptilians first off you know you showed them that you can basically conquer them like you know, you just you just got respect. I mean, it doesn't mean you're going on conquering all of them, but you showed they have the ability to take them down if you had to. Yeah, this is just not mentally conquered. This is, you know, actually. Yeah. Okay. But, but yeah, you have more of a. So after that, you've had more of a neutral connection with them. Right. Right. Where they just, you know, you're not into fighting. You just want to. Peace yes. and diplomat and yeah, it's like an old warrior song you know it's like there's no glory in war anymore there's nothing exactly. to fight for nothing to prove so a lot of them are tired of fighting too so they got yeah just some reptilians just like to ruin it for everybody and they're those are on this planet right we're here to unravel that energy it's just there's time there are timelines where they're allowed to act the way they are that's why they're getting away with what they're getting away with. Yeah, and it feels like um, it, it's a part of the karma, you know, and I, I, people just say that they're going to get theirs, but it's kind of weird in a complicated way how they're commissioned by karma to actually, you know, perform these duties. So, I don't know. Well, yeah. yeah, they're allowed to challenge people. Right, right. So as long as they challenge them, if they go overboard, then they get karma. Right, exactly. They, you know, they go too far. And if that's the case just, with a lot of these here, you know, they, they just don't know how to quit. Well, it's like a teacher. It's like a karate teacher. You know, a karate teacher says, hey, go fight that person. Yeah, or yeah. Something. You know, here's a challenge. It's so like, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Just humans don't remember their, what they're battling. So, yeah. But it really is like that. It's like... Uh, yeah, you go into like a, a hologram scenario, you go into a holographic world. But before you go in, you say, okay, you're going to challenge me, you're going to challenge me, but I'm going to forget about it when I get there. And I'm not even going to see you. Yeah, and that's why they can get away with karma because you're you're allowing the challenge to happen. Of course, a lot of people don't want to believe that, but that's what's happening. That's what we signed up for, yeah. Yeah. And I, I just find it interesting, like, if we could just see them, you know, if someone would have flipped the light switch on and off real quick and, you know, just get a glimpse yeah. of what's around you and people just start asking questions. Well, you're building up towards that. Yeah, that's what I think the event would probably be, if someone just flipped the light switch and like, oh, shit, what was that? You know, and like, you can't unsee it, you know, after you see it. Yeah, that's what you're, yeah, you're here to tolerate the current environment, but you are... This is exactly what you're moving towards, though. It's kind of like opening up the umbrella so you don't get rained on anymore. Right. Just open the eyes. Open yeah. the mind. So, it's... <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, all right. Blessings. All right. Thank you very much. Blessings. Much love. We, yeah, we have a few more minutes. Anybody else? I'll go. Um, for some reason, popped into my head to ask. So, when my mom was pregnant with me, she was told that she was having a boy, so all my clothes and everything was prepared for a boy, and my name was going to be Casper, and um, and then I popped out. So I was wondering if there's any significance with, with that whole thing. Well, I think, I don't know if you were kind of like a tomboy when you were growing up, or a little bit, that. yeah, a little bit. That was wild. Uh, yeah, yeah. Was kind of both. You just I, wanted I to like be to play in nature and stuff, like build tree houses and kind of rough, like more like that, just yeah. like you know, trucks and stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you're a mystery baby. <laughs> so this is yeah, is you know, like you're hey surprise, I'm not a boy. <laughs> so <laughs> I think you did that on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting. It kind of uh, connected. I know that the, it probably, I know that this isn't the thing. I know that I was debating prior to come in possibly as like a male professor, but that would have been during a different time. But maybe yeah, some no. aspect that kind of bled over a little bit too. Um, no, I think you did that. So I believe you're the one that gave her that, that person, that message, that you'd be a boy. <laughs> Just... Hmm. uh yeah, he was like, got you again, Mom. Mm-hmm. Funny. Look at it that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was also um, hard for me to be born here. Both me and my mom, I had a birth trauma because I was really big. I was like nine pounds. And my mom was tiny, like 100 pounds. And um, they suctioned me out with a vacuum, like on my head. Mm-hmm. So that was pretty traumatic. Um, was that in my contract or was that more like an attack of the system trying to not have me come in to this reality? Uh, or you're not wanting to be born. Yeah. <laughs> you're not yeah. wanting to come out. Yeah. So it's a little um, bit of both of those. Part of you didn't yeah. want to come out. So it's just like, but yeah, there was a, a little bit of manipulation there, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, did I... Because, you know, they say that oftentimes, like, the soul, it comes into the, you know, baby or whatever at different times. It's not necessarily, like, there the whole time. I don't really have so much memory of my, like, even my childhood, like, early child. I remember, like, later, like, from five up. But before that, I have, like, little glimpses. Like, when I hear people talk about, like, details of when they were two, and I don't remember that. Or when I was, so was it just because I was going kind of in and out of body, like astral? Or when did I kind of come in? Uh, well, you were there during the birthing process. But yeah, there was a, a male energy that was was there also. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, it's like other versions of you that were coming through your body. Mm-hmm. So, and even male versions of you. So, yeah, around two years old, it's like you became more you, is what I see. Mm-hmm. And my mom was born, when she was born to my grandma, she was born, uh, I believe, a blue baby. Like, uh, that she had to, she was, I think, had the cord wrapped around either her neck, or she struggled coming in as well. Did, is, was it also like she didn't really want to come into this reality, or was it kind of a different story? Well, some of that, was a, rep, some of that was a reptilian interference with her. I mean, yeah. yeah, she might not have been one have been born. You know, she wanted to stay in a little bit longer because mm-hmm. uh, I said warm and comfy. But yeah, that she wouldn't have put her umbilical cord around her neck, though. That kind of just happened. <laughs> yeah, there's so. some weird different stories where I forget exactly how it was, but my mom was apparently supposed to have a twin. Like, and but then like years later. I had this realization, and I, I know we're kind of versed, I'm not going to go into all the details, but pretty much there's one aspect that I realized that I could have been the twin that was right. in my grandma's stomach, and I chose to abort myself. Like, I didn't come in, and yeah. a, a certain dream I had confirmed that for me, Correct. and then um, yeah. and then different shamans would work on my mom, and they're like, you're carrying, like, a twin, like, you won't let her go, like, she's in your body, pretty much, like, the cells and stuff, and yeah, it's interesting because I think there was some trauma of like almost separation there. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you felt like you needed to be born. So you can say like when your mom was told she was going to have a boy, that was, you can say a male energy there too that wanted to come through. Mm-hmm. But, you know, but you kind of pushed them to a side. Yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> decided to come in and said so. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of like twin energies. Interesting. Okay, cool. All right. I mean, Thank she, you she, she could have got a message that you were, you were coming, but you, I believe you still wanted to be a surprise for it. Yeah, I think I chose because I think I was supposed to be born as my mom's twin in my grandma's yeah, stomach. Correct, then correct. I said, no, I'm not coming in right now. Yeah, yeah. And then I think there was some debating of, um, lastly, let me ask, because my mom asked, I was her first pregnancy and she had me. But then after me, she had a, a several abortions. 
Are there any messages from any of those beings that would like to come through for her? Oh, they're still around. They don't hold any grudges against her or anything. They knew she had to do what she had to do. So they still love her. What's interesting is I and her and I kind of both feel this. Sometimes I feel like one of those abortions was possibly supposed to come through in this lifetime. I felt almost like a brother energy that I was supposed to have a brother. Mm. It wasn't like necessary, but I felt like, is that something that you feel? Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's a little bit, you can say a little bit sad that he didn't get to be with you growing up. Yeah, I feel that. I feel some connection to, like, that I was supposed to have a brother. Yeah, it's okay, though. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, don't (laughs) dwell on that, though. (laughs) Yeah, so they're still around it. It's not going to get you anywhere with that. (laughs) Yeah, no, no, no. Just it and Mm -hmm. move forward. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Blessings. All right, blessings to you. All right, blessings to you all. I must be going. So, send you energies from the draconians and blessings.